Now, the heating. Set. Half of wrist, half of push is needed. Set. Back bit. Wrist. Here. Push. 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 So, wrist, but same time, kind of a push. The wrong way. Too much wrist. Make the shuttle too sharp, too long. Compare. And too less wrist, too much push. Just touch. Shuttle goes too slow, allowing opponent to, to take it early. It has to be half and half. Reasonably paced, but safe. And then I can control how long, how short I can hit with this technique. And very common mistakes. Players think, oh, drop shot, it has to go down. So I must hit it down. Lots of problems. Hit to the net a lot. Now, another common mistake. Yes, I've been told to drop, it has to go down. Therefore, I have to make my impact. I have to hit my shuttlecock at the highest point and then hit it down. That causing a lot of problems. Highest point. So he, he's trying to do it highest point. How can he hit it down here to down? It's not possible. That's why shuttle goes uh, too high and he do too much, shuttle hit it floor. So compare, wrong way. Highest point. Compare. What happens if shuttle goes deeper? You have to go back. Another one. Winding behind and then hit it. So making big swing before the shot, like that. Here, big swing before the hit. Because of this, this power, this circle, influence my power at the impact. Like this. Less action at the back, more control, power action in front, like this. There. There. So I can control it. Compare. No. Another problem. Turning. Yeah. I've been told to turn to generate power. Like this. Here, to turning again changes the final shot. There. Or like that. I know when I do that, two, three out of ten players will ask questions. Lee, but many other players are doing that. Not good question. If you have that question, you should tell me, Lee, I should do that because I saw a player doing it. He's a very good player. And by him doing that, he benefit this, 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 this. 
That's why I think I like it that way. That player has got the reason why he like it. Rather than say, oh yeah, yeah, that player is doing it, I must do it. No reason. You should have uh, developed your eyes, ability to see if one of the top player doing something, then why that is good? Yeah, but there is a problem. He's good, but if he do that, there is a disbenefit of this, this, this. Rather than saying, he's doing it, it must be right. What happened if he lost to another player, have a completely different technique? You're changing it next year? Yeah, I've been doing that because that player won it. Oh yeah, now I'm changing it this way because another player beat it with this technique. It doesn't make sense to me. Now, another important reason. You are practicing drop shot. But you cannot practice a drop shot separately. The drop shot technique should allow you to smash clear in the same way. That is a real drop shot skill. You cannot have drop shot hitting technique this way, clear hitting technique that way, smash hitting technique another way. You cannot have that. Not enough time for it. Opponent can see the differences. So it should be like that. Set. Same. Drop. Same. Clear. Same. Smash. Same. Drop. So everything can be done from here, clear, smash, drop. In many dangerous situations, you have a one way, you can use it all. You save time. You can do different shots in any circumstances.